let's quickly set up a vertical live stream for YouTube Shorts using Streamlabs. And of course, you'll start on this page, which is linked in the description, and download Streamlabs Desktop. Once downloaded, click on the YouTube logo to log in with YouTube. If it asks you to purchase Streamlabs Ultra, you don't need to do this. However, if you ever do decide to buy it, you can use my affiliate link in the description for $9 off the first month. Anyway, let's go back to Streamlabs desktop and turn it into vertical mode to start with. So I'm going to click on settings in the bottom left and I'm going to head to the video tab and under base canvas resolution, I'm going to click on custom and under custom base resolution, I'm going to manually type 1080x 1920. Now under output scaled resolution, I'm going to click the drop down and select the same thing. These other three settings are fine. Set it to 60 FPS. On the output page, you can copy these settings as well. Once you've done, just press done in the bottom right. And as you can see, the canvas is now vertical. Now let's add our camera, add our screen and alerts and microphone and audio. So underneath sources, click the plus button and you're going to do this three times. You're going to add the video capture device for your camera, the display capture for your screen and finally the alert box for your alerts. When you're doing your camera settings, I do recommend on the resolution FPS type, you change it to custom and make sure you've got the 1080p camera option and that the FPS of your camera is set to the highest FPS that your camera will do, which is typically 30 or 60. My other camera settings should be fine. So you can now see we've got everything added, but it's not in the correct order. So we can reorganize things underneath sources by clicking on whatever you want to change. I'll start just by dragging my display capture down and now let's resize the camera. And what I'm going to do with my camera is drag the corners until the whole camera frame is in the shot. Then I'll click back onto my display capture and the display capture is going to fill the rest of the screen. And if I want to center it perfectly, I'm going to right click it, transform and center horizontal. Finally, I'll just make sure my alert box is centered perfectly. It's actually centered perfectly already. Now let's make sure we have the correct microphone and audio. So underneath mixer here, click on this settings cog. Underneath desktop audio, drop this down and under device, make sure you select the correct device. These other settings are fine. Let's scroll down to mic and once again, choose the correct microphone. Once you've chosen both of those, close out and underneath your microphone, click on the settings cog and click onto filters and edit filters. Now click on add filter, change the filter type to noise suppression press add and use RN noise or Nvidia noise removal. This is just going to remove the noise of any fans, AC, etc. You're now ready to go live. Just hit the go live button. It will ask you for the title, thumbnail, etc. After subscribing, watch this video here to add alerts to your live stream.